So here's a few tips on how to vertical jig soft baits for tuna. Now, um, I have a Hoagie six ounce harness pro tail. Uh, we're east of Cape Cod and in this particular spot, we're in 200 feet of water. Uh, so I have no problem getting down. Uh, six ounces of lead in the head is usually enough uh, for vertical jigging for tuna. And you know I will fish all levels of the water column with these. Um, if I'm marking fish, you know, say I'm in 400 feet of water, I'm marking fish in 250, you know, I'll sort of calibrate where in the water column I am. But I'll start at the bottom work and I'll fish pretty much the entire water column if I'm scanning for fish. So I've just hit bottom. Now one thing I want to point out when vertical jigging with soft baits is you want the name of the game is to fish these baits very slow. I think the biggest mistake people make when vertical jigging soft baits is they fish them too fast. And the advantage of having the soft bait for a jig as opposed to metal jig is you have that very natural undulation and so the bait will be very lifelike even at slow speeds. And the baits out today um, have excellent finishes and paint jobs and that sort of thing. So you have a very natural presentation and you know, if a tuna gets a good look at the bait, that's not a problem because they're very natural and very, um, you know, very lifelike. So you'll notice how slow I'm fishing this. Um, if you're used to fishing with metal vertical style jigs, you know, the name of the game is super fast, but this I'm just going very slow. And there's even times where I'll just let it sit and I'll lower it down back to the bottom and then just reel it up real slow, raise the rod, let it go. And so you just picture that bait coming up and then having a natural drop as it goes. And take advantage of that top bait. Fish this bait very, very slow. Now one point I want to make when fishing with the soft baits is they're so soft and so natural looking that oftentimes you get hit on the drop. And I would say well, maybe as much as 50% of my fish when fishing with soft baits can come on the drop on certain days. And so when I'm letting the line out, I want to have good awareness of what my line's doing because there's times where when you're letting it down, the fish is seeing it from under and it's coming up to strike it and my arc could do something different. And so the line will just stop going out as fast. And say if you know you're in 400 feet of water and the line just stops going out or slows way down, you know that, you know, something's wrong. You put the bail down and then just start reeling. Now the thing, if the fish hits it from under and it's grabbed it on the drop, you might have to reel for a good 10 or 15 seconds to feel pressure. You might feel a little pressure. You might even think it's a dogfish or a codfish or something because uh, you know maybe there's a belly in the line. And uh, so anything weird happens on the drop, just be safe, shut the bail, and reel it in. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten hit on the drops. And there's times where on the drop, you can get a hit and have the spit, fish spit it out, and you won't even notice until you look at your jig, you'll see chafe marks from being inside the tuna's mouth and uh, if it doesn't feel right, they can spit it out before you even feel the pressure on the line. And last I like, thing I like to point out is a lot of the hits for that same reason with the soft baits fishing them slow. So if you're in the middle of the water column, they're gonna come up and the fish is slow, the fish is gonna come up. So oftentimes a hit will feel like a tap, 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 tap. And uh, you know, and halfway down the bottom in 400 feet of water, chances are a tap, tap, tap isn't a dogfish or a codfish or whatever kind of bottom fish you might accidentally catch. And that is a telltale sign just to keep reeling down on that rot reel until you feel full load on the rod. So again, just to summarize, let it down to the desired depth. The slower you can fish a soft bait, the better. And the beauty of fishing it slow is you find whatever target depth. You can keep it there very easily. Um, it's a great technique. You don't get tired out as easily as you do fishing the speed jigs. It's just very a slow method. And it, you will outfish the rest of the guys in your boat if you slow your soft bait down and just be patient. You know, lastly, um, I'm embarrassed to say how many fish I get with the soft bait and the rod and the holder. You can see the boat's rocking and this tip of the rod's moving three or four feet and that bait's going to go up and down and up and down and up and down and uh, you know, sometimes when we're taking a break we'll just make sure there's a couple rods in the holder and um, you know, let the boat do the work. But, Upside of soft baits is they're slow, easy, and very natural, and to me that makes them fun to fish.